to class. Like every class with me, you're just going to need your mat or towel, whatever you're practicing on, and your own body, and you're good to go. So we'll get started with a bit of movement right away, and we're gonna we're gonna come right away into a pretty intense pose. Can also be referred to as fire toes. Um, so we're gonna start by just coming onto our knees, coming up all fours actually, so tips of our toes in the mat, tuck our toes under, so you may have to use your hands here to just kind of make sure your little toe probably won't be touching the mat, but the other toes make sure they're tucked under. And then you may feel something from here already in this position, but otherwise, you just walk your way back. And so essentially, the more weight you put on your feet, the more intense the pose will feel. So coming all the way up here is a pretty intense place to be. If it's too much, you just simply move your weight forward and find a, find a place here where you can sort of stay and hang out not in too much pain, but you should still be able to feel something and it will feel pretty intense. This is a part of our body, our feet, that we don't give very much attention. We don't really stretch it out. And I mean, think of how much time you spend on your feet. You crunch them into shoes and all sorts every day, all day. So. We'll just take a moment here, roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. And try and find your breath here as, as well as you can. I know it's intense, I know you're feeling a lot right now. But breathing in and out through your nose. And deep in that breath. We'll stay here for two more deep breaths. Remember, you can always come forward. You can take off from the intensive intensity or you can add to the intensity. So you choose your level. Take one last breath here. Exhale out through your mouth. And then come forward here. Now careful not coming out of this pose. Just take it slow. So untuck your toes. Begin to wiggle them, maybe tap them to the mat, just carefully get them back in motion. And then from here, we're just gonna sort of turn that around. So we're gonna do the opposite of that. We're gonna stretch the front of our feet this time. So tops of our feet are down to the mats. Place your hands on your knees and your thighs. And then begin to bring your weight back and then lift one knee at a time from the mat. And you'll probably feel this front of your foot, up your shin. And I will say it every yoga class that I teach, there's no right, there's no wrong, there's no, this is how it's supposed to be. Your body, your practice, but if it's hurting, if it's pinching or pulling in an uncomfortable way, then I would recommend you back off. And if you want to, you can lean back, lift both knees, just hang out here for a second and breathe. Take another inhale. And exhale, come forward. So usually these poses are quite uncomfortable because like I said, we don't spend a lot of attention. We don't spend a lot of time stretching our feet. so. It's okay if that wasn't super good for you, but it's very, I'm sure your feet are loving you right now. We're gonna give our hands, our wrists a little bit of love as well. So turn your fingers, your hands, so that your fingers are facing your body. And same goes here, you can walk your knees forward here, and the further you tip forward, the less intensity that you have, you will put, the less weight on your wrists, but if you walk your knees back and start tipping your weight back, you'll feel how the stretch 
begins to intensify in your wrist and going up your forearms. And you can rock a little back and forth here if it's too much to stay in one position. And breathe. Take another breath here. And come forward a little bit if you walked back. We're gonna come back up and we're gonna turn that around. So tops of our hands come down to the mats. And same here. You can straighten your wrists or your, sorry, your arms, your elbows, and then come forward and then just begin to play with this position. How does it feel to rock back and forth? How does it feel to stay in one position? And breathe. And then bring your hands back to neutral. Take a breath here. We're gonna come onto our knees, finding our hero pose. Just simply sitting here. And then we're just gonna bring our forehead down to the mats. Arms come alongside our body. We'll relax here just for a moment. You can rock your forehead a little side to side on your mat and find some stillness here. And next inhale, bring yourself back up. We're going to walk our hands forward. We're going to make our way into our downward facing dog. So tuck those toes under, lift your hips up. And then send your hips back to the wall behind you, chest opening up towards your thighs. And begin to breathe here. So again, if you're new to yoga, if you don't, haven't practiced today yet, bend those knees. We're looking for length in our spine, from our crown of the head down to our tailbone. If you need to bend your knees to get there, then, then that's perfect. Take a breath here. Inhale, we're gonna send our body forward, coming into a plank pose. We're gonna exhale, come back into our downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank. And see if you can really find a flow here with your breath. And then exhale, find your downward facing dog. If you need to do it a little bit slower, if you want to stay somewhere for an extra breath, do that. But see if you can really find like a little, like a wave of the ocean. You're flowing forward on that inhale. And then flowing back on that exhale. So connecting your breath to your movement. We'll do it twice more. And then from your downward facing dog, we're going to take one big step or multiple small steps. Coming up to the front of your mat, inhale, lifting up halfway, exhale, fold forward, do that twice more. So with your breath, inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, fold, inhale, lift up, exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees, arms up above your head. Exhale, hands come down to your heart center. And we're just gonna take a moment here and I want you to close your eyes. And appreciating that you are taking 
these 15 minutes out of your day for yourself, for your well-being, and see if you can breathe that appreciation, that gratitude for yourself out into every cell of your body. Send it out into your body and into the world. Let's do one more like that. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. And then inhale, open those eyes. Arms come up above you. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, take a big step back, ending up in that plank pose. Take inhale here. And then exhale, just like we did before, just floating back into that downward facing dog. We'll do that twice more. So inhale, come forward. And really listen to your breath here. So go with your own breath. Exhale, come back. One more inhale, come forward. And exhale. Take an inhale here. Exhale, come down to your knees. We're gonna flip over to our back right away. And we're just gonna roll down Hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side here. And we're gonna find a happy baby pose here. So we're gonna bend those legs. Grab the outsides or insides of your feet. If that's too far, you can't really reach there, then grab your ankles. And then we're just gonna slowly, carefully bring our feet down towards us. So try and keep your shoulder blades on your mat. And we're just gently tugging our feet down, opening our hips, opening our insides of our thighs. Our, our legs are getting so much juiciness here. You can. Rock a little side to side if that feels good. Staying still if that feels good. Take a deep breath here. And then exhale, bend those knees. We're gonna find a little twist here. So first of all, we're gonna lift our hips and we're gonna send them over to the right. And then we're gonna drop both of our knees over to the left. Arms can come out from the body like a T. You can use your left arm, your left hand to bring, to put on top of your right knee so that your legs stay down. We really want to keep our right shoulder blade down to the mat. If that's not possible, then see if you can lift those knees a little bit. So more important to get that shoulder blade down than to get the knees down. If you're, you practice yoga, you want some more, you can wrap those legs. Finding a version that suits you right now, right at this moment. And close your eyes here. Next inhale, bring those knees back up through center. Bring your hips back through center. Take a moment here. And then shoot those hips off to the left and drop your knees to the right. Left arm comes out to the side. You can use that right hand to keep your knees down. And close your eyes here.
Notice your breath. See if you can deepen it even deeper. Next inhale, slowly bringing those knees back up, center, giving yourself a big last hug here. Maybe kissing your knees, thanking your body, rocking up to a seat, and finding somewhere comfortable to round this class off. So close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath. And we'll take a deep inhale here together, and then we're gonna exhale through our mouth. So inhale through your nose, and release. And bring your breath back. Open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing and I'll see you next time.